This next presentation focuses on the partnership between Intel and Telefonica, who are transforming healthcare delivery at a regional and national level through mobile health around the world. Here to moderate the discussion is Mel Remington, Global Health Market and Business Development Manager, Intel. Please give her a round of applause and she will introduce the rest of our speakers. All of us? Oh, I think. Let's get up a bit. Great. So thank you very much for coming and thank you for the audience here today at Mobile World Congress. Um, I just wanted to give a kind of context. We are talking about mobile health and we have three distinguished speakers here today. Uh, we have Katia Galvin Luis, we have Dr. Fernandez Garcia, and we also have Julio Sanchez. Um, and Katia is actually from Telefonica Vivo in Brazil, and Julio is obviously from, he's actually from Spain, and Dr. Garcia is actually from one of the leading children's hospitals in Europe, um, and actually based out of Barcelona. Okay, so we're gonna provide two mobile health examples, one based in Brazil, and one actually based out of Spain. And really, I think in terms of the context of Brazil, there's a very large population, Katia, I understand, uh, 198 million people. And uh, in actual fact, the government, the Brazilian government, are undergoing a major transformation in terms of delivering electronic health records, digitizing hospitals, digitizing primary and community care. And uh, uh, Telefonica are doing a number of different projects with the government in Brazil. Uh, but one that we wanted to really focus on was actually community health, yeah. yes? And the community health workforce do a really crucial role. And they actually have a program, the Brazilian government today, that's running, but it's very much paper-based. So Katia, do you want to talk a bit more about the project and why this is really crucial? Yes, at first, Thanks for the invitation. Uh, it's a proud for us to be here to talk about this project. Okay. Brazil uh, has um, uh, continental dimensions and uh, it's very difficult to provide professionals in all these areas and the skilled, the specialized, well skilled for this, this, uh, these activities. As well, it has impacting costs. Right. Yep. And uh, uh, we saw in mobility, we saw in the health IT a good opportunity to put uh, this kind of uh, um, professionals mm -hmm. and this kind of uh, services in all these areas, the both areas, rural and uh, urban areas. Right. And I understand that the community health workers, they're somewhere at 350,000. Yes. And that sounds like an awful lot, but actually it's there to, um, they're, they're quite low skilled, aren't they? Yes. So tell us a bit more about the actual solution, Katia. Yes. We have a community national program that we call PSF. It's a program, it's a management program, family program. And we have, as you said, uh, 350,000 agents that uh, wow. visit these this families, these people and uh, collect information and give referrals, yeah. give uh, information about uh, hygiene, about uh, family uh, programmation. Yeah. And um, uh, they, they, has a, a they, they have uh, challenges, critical challenges, because they have to visit uh, remote areas, Right. They have to deal with the schedule. They have to deal with uh, uh, many paper because, yeah. as you said, it's a basic paper. Paper-based, yes. Yes, paper-based. Mm. And they have to take note to everything. And then when they return to the health unit, they have to digit oh my everything right. by themselves. It's not an easy activity. So we saw in mobility, in technology, an opportunity. Uh, in addition, we have uh, 3G infrastructure in Telefonica, now 4G, 4G okay. and our huge uh, database structure that help us to think uh, in a solution uh, like this. 
Okay. And, and Katia, you said um, uh, they go and they collect information. You also said um, they also visit families to educate them. So yes. uh, what did you do with Sao Paulo University and with Intel? Yes, uh, Sao Paulo University did a very important uh, thing to this project because uh, they provide the contents, okay. all the information with uh, very visible and very easy to understand because it's an important point. Yeah. The families are simple people that sometimes have difficult to understand some things, some explanations, right. and the aged are simple as well. Okay. So yes. sometimes they have difficult to manage s with some subjects, some me medical terms, right. and this. So we got the the contents from uh, São Paulo University yes. and put inside the device uh, to help to help these agents. Great. And so that actually we see as a picture in the backdop. It's actually. Yes. Uh, an Azus phone pad, is that right? Yes, yes. And the software is actually from Global Data. Yeah. Yes, yes. We, uh, through this partnership with Intel, uh, we provide the device uh, to this agent, and uh, this device it was a uh, Asus phone pad. Um, there was a, a software inside this, a software that managed with the information. Okay. Uh, from Global Data, as you said, yeah. it's a partner of us, 3G, and right. uh, the possibility to work uh, uh, connected or not connected. Right. Oh, because okay. there are some areas that uh, the connection is not so well to, to work, so they, they, they could work uh, out of connection and then connect when they need to. Actualize this, this information, right. yes. Right. And uh, geolocalization. But GPS, okay, uh, to make an audit on these agents and help them about the localization of the house, uh, okay. everything, and uh, this is the technology that uh, we applied in this right. project. And I mean, what kind of feedback have you had from the community health workers, and yes. what kind of feedback have you had from the regional Ministry of Health? Yes, it was very, very rich experience because we learned a lot with both sides, <laughs> with the positive people and the negative ones. Okay. The positive, um, at the first, they had a very, very nice reaction because they really thought that the technology would help the, their routine yeah. and uh, help them to do their activities better and they, they feel proud to, to use the technology. Yeah. But uh, on the other hand, we had the negative people that uh, was, uh, very af was afraid about the sudden change and uh, to deal with a technology uh, with difficulties to, to manage this. And we learned with these both sides, we did changes and after this, uh, we trained again everybody, and we decide that it's a project that uh, will never give up because <laughs> it helps the government, it helps the people, yeah. and the technology was essential to, to change their lives. Okay, and I think just to, to close on, we were talking earlier, Katia, about this, Yes. And I think you were saying that sometimes it can take six months to refer a patient, yes. and now it happens within a week. I mean, that's kind of really transformational. Yes. So thank you for that. Thanks. So uh, Dr. Garcia, I just wanted to go to uh, the hometown Barcelona and the Catalonian region. Um, there's a, a fantastic project that you're working with Telefonica in Spain on. And uh, I, I, I know that you're the top leading hospital uh, here and uh, you know, ranked top in uh, Europe. And uh, effectively, you're, you're head of innovation. So do you want to tell us specifically about this project, which is called the Virtual Doctor Visit? Yes. Uh, well, we've been running uh, for, for the last four years an initiative called the Liquid Hospital, where we try to provide content and services to our patients uh, outside the physical building of, of the hospital, right? I mean, this is very important because we, we have to keep in mind that we have children, right? Um, adults is, is complex, but you know, children is even more complex when we talk about providing healthcare, right? And uh, we are a 
as you said, um, the last uh, resort for many diseases in Catalonia and elsewhere in Spain and some parts of Europe. And uh, reality is that uh, patients sometimes they have to travel long distances just to maybe to get a simple answer, right? Or maybe to check something, right? And um, that is uh, painful and that is also tedious uh, for families and for patients themselves, right? So uh, we were lucky enough to start uh, one of our uh, projects with Telefonica. And uh, it is uh, it, it is being done in the field of home monitoring, right? So we have um, at the hospital we monitor mo more than 80 children uh, at home with uh, respiratories. Okay, so basically the children are at home, and so uh, they have things like a really severe asthma as yeah, an example. They have, a, they have a machine that they have to put their masks at night, and you know that creates problems with the masks and and, and other things that make them comfortable, and sometimes you know. Um, you know, parents don't know how to handle that, et cetera, right? Um, the way we've been handling this so far, it is uh, mainly we got a nurse, right, with a car, and then my nurse uh, makes more kilometers per year than one of the Formula One uh, car drivers, right? Really? Because that's all they do, you know. Yeah. To provide care, they use a car to get to the place where they can provide care, right? And um, whenever we think of expanding our services, it's not that we have to take care of another nurse, but we also have to include another car, right? right. And yeah. that is expensive, uh, especially these days, right? So, you know, we were lucky enough to partner with Telefonica for these projects where we use technology in the middle to avoid traveling long distances for physicians and nurses, as well as for patients, yeah. right? So, um, you know, it is about a uh, tablet, you know, that we provide to the, to the families. Uh, the tablet has different functionalities. The main functionality is the ability to answer emails and to do video conferencing, as well with some um, um, questionnaires to fill in, so physicians can can keep track of the of the vital signs of of the of the patients at home, right? Um, and that's that's the project all about. It is about using technology to be smarter uh, in healthcare. I think what I really liked about it was human touch, because you know technology gets involved and get can become a barrier and I like the fact that you know there's that video interaction that you have and also the technical side the you know compliance side which is really important for healthcare um, so you know you're using kind of bluetooth devices which are continuous compliant to monitor kind of ox um, oxygen saturation levels and all those things and it's this really managing very crucial and chronic diseases mm -hmm. and so I guess for Telefonica using the 3G network and um, you know, in future 4G, that obviously is crucial pipe to have a very reliable service delivery as well. Mm -hmm. So, um, so Julia, I was going to ask you. Uh, you've been working with Intel for quite some many years. So, do you, you know people think about Intel and they think chips? So, do you want to tell us a little bit about why you work with Intel? All right. Okay. Uh, I think that uh, for several reasons. Maybe, for example. Uh, I think that the products, the technology we use in the, in the developing of the building of our services, uh, Intel products have a lot of features that are critical for us. For example, interoperability. You have talked about uh, Continuum Alliance. Uh, Intel was one of the former members of Continuum Alliance and uh, used uh, uh, open standards that are critical because we wanted to develop uh, services with uh, interoperability in their core, okay? Right. So it's, it's uh, very important for us to use this kind of open technologies. Uh, other important features for us are, for example, robustness is very important in this kind of services, and uh, security. Security is critical because the kind of data that we use uh, in, uh, that we manage in the services uh, are uh, demographics of the patients, yeah. uh, uh, health conditions, it's, it's very important security in this kind of service. Uh, these characteristics and other ones are very important for us when we will a service of this kind. And I think, you know, one of the things that when people are talking about mHealth, people are thinking, oh, well it's a smartphone and it's down to pole-to-pole -pole communication. What we're really talking about here is collaboration, care coordination, putting the patient at the center. And as part of that, that's why the compute model matters, uh, whether it's using a tablet device, a two-in-one, or even if it's a smartphone. The security end-to-end -end is really crucial, and the manageability as well. 
So I want to say thank you so much for today and coming along and speaking on this topic. Um, you know, to find out more, look up Intel and the healthcare site. Also, please look up uh, Telefonica Vivo in Brazil. They're doing some wonderful things, and so too is Telefonica in Spain. Um, many, many projects, many years of experience. Yes. And also to Dr. Garcia. I mean, he's really leading innovation in a very big way. And seeing kids, being able to keep them away from a hospital is a good thing, rather than yes. encouraging them to come into a hospital. So thank you very much. Thank you. Thank you.